What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We are here with the Going the Distance Seasonal Championship. It's the one right here. We just have to drive the Colossus. That's it. It's just one race. And we need to do it in a GT or Super GT car. And I chose the BMW M8 Competition. It's a fairly new car. I don't think we've used it thus far. Or at least I don't know of it. So I decided to give it a shot. I don't like those rims. Just keep the standard ones on. Much better. Anyway, I decided to give this car a shot. It's fairly new. It has just been introduced not too long ago. And why not give it a try? The usual suspects are the Aston Martins, which we have used a million times before. So I didn't want to do those again. Obviously it has to be affordable, so the Ferraris were out. And it has to be available at the Auto Show, which also disqualifies some of the cars. And then I also have to like it, which disqualifies another couple of cars. I'll quickly take a picture. Or two. Going in this direction. Sorry. I just like to have cars photographed. Increase that number. Getting numbers up is like it's rather satisfying in a way. It's a very long race, so no need to rush the overtakes here. You can just drive cleanly and wait for your chances. They are going to come, don't worry about it. For example, right here. Double overtake into second place. Go right here. And now we've only done 6% and we've already obtained the lead. And now we just drive our race. But even if you don't do the overtakes that early, you have so much time in this race, it really doesn't matter too much when you do them. But obviously the sooner you get it out of the way, the sooner you can build up your lead and manage the race, drive a little bit more carefully, avoid mistakes, you know. Because when you're behind, you drive a little bit more aggressive because you want to overtake, you take maybe a little bit more risk. That obviously increases the chance that you mess up. On the other hand, when you're behind, you probably focus a lot more because you want to overtake, you want to drive faster. And you focus more and that might decrease the risk for mistakes, for blunders, for messing up. So it goes both ways. Only 13% done so far. Slowly ticking up. I think a 15-16 minute race probably awaits us. Or so I would expect. There we go. 15% done. Obviously you could calculate how much the total race takes at this rate, but kinda busy here. Kinda busy with driving. I'm doing math while recording, like I've watched videos plenty on YouTube and sometimes people do math on the video. And you're like, why can't they do simple math? And you're sitting in front of a TV or wherever you are watching. And you're like, what are we doing? Why can't they do simple math? It's not that hard. But when you're recording and you have to focus on the game you're playing. It's actually not that easy to do the simple math. 
it becomes a lot more difficult and I think people underestimate that. It's also sometimes playing, focusing on the game while talking is not as easy. Like it, it actually, when I started doing commentary, it definitely was not the easiest thing in the world. To put it mildly, like especially, I don't even know what the first game was that I commentated. I think the Zombie Army Trilogy, I think, was the first game that I commentated. And I did, obviously I didn't know what I was doing. As far as uh, what am I even supposed to talk about? And it's actually very hard to keep talking, even though you have no topic right now, apart from showcasing the game here. It's a lot easier when you say, hey, I have this and that topic and I record a video because I want to talk about it, which is more or less what I was doing in my trucking series, which I may or may not revive. Probably will break a little bit because that corner is really tricky because the racing line starts at a point where you're like, I can go full throttle through there. It's no problem at all. But the corner becomes longer and longer and longer and at some point it's too late to brake for when it becomes a little bit tighter and you actually need to brake. So that's very hard to, to judge and to get right. That's really where you, where you have to pay attention to what you are doing. Because the racing line is no help there. If you follow the racing line you're just a lot slower. Because it, it really is no help in that case. as well like the corner looks so easy and so wide but going full throttle through the corner just isn't working and it becomes longer and longer and longer and more difficult to to get right oh, oh, oh that was good that was a complete mess up but that's what i mean like when you're busy talking about stuff it's so easy to lose focus for a second and mess up like that. And I mean, luckily, A, we have a big lead and B, there is no car damage, so it's not that bad. But again, it's, it's really easy to lose focus, especially like these long drawn out corners that suddenly turn sharp are not that easy to judge. Obviously Vera was just late and I was like, oh, there is a corner there, whoops. And then it was too late already. So I just had to slam the e-brake and make sure I just slam the rear into a wall and at least get the car straightened. Forty-two percent done. Slowly but surely driving along. The countryside here is actually not that bad. It's just... I don't know, it's... The map is huge, obviously. And I don't want to take anything away from it. But it feels a little bit empty. Which is obviously good when you're free roaming or doing Eliminator or whatever because you have a lot of open area. And it's not quite as restrictive as the UK map in Horizon 4. Where you would constantly fall down a cliff or something. Because you went the wrong way and where going from A to B was often very restrictive because you couldn't go through there, you can't go through there, and there is a cliff and there is a cliff and you have to go through this passage and that was somewhat annoying in some instances. Depending on the part of the map where it was also that, that area with the windmills, that was actually pretty cool, at least for open driving. So from a gameplay perspective, this map is probably better. 
I would say. From a visual perspective, I really like the UK map. The Lego map was actually pretty fun because you can just drive through everything and then the little bricks are flying all over the place. So it was, I have to admit, it was pretty fun. Well, my first thought was, what are you doing, a Lego DLC? Are you serious? Yeah, and it works. Reasonably well, in fact. Sharp breaking into that corner. 54% done. Yeah, it's mainly managing right now. Managing lead, trying to not have another one of those blunders that we just had. Trying to keep talking about whatever, really. But yeah, like I said earlier, I might revive the trucking series. And to be fair, Driving a trucky while talking is okay. It's not that hard. You don't need to focus too much. It's a game that is basically made for it. For either being played while you listen to something, like if you want to listen to a book or whatever, if you want to... Whatever. If you want to watch something in the background, just listen to what's going on or whatever. It's, it's really good if your mind wants to focus on something else while playing something. That's probably a, a way to, to put it. There go. 60% done. 11 minutes gone by. Yeah, we won't make it in 15 minutes unfortunately, but... That's okay. I want to stay under 20 and that's likely. Unless we completely mess up. Which is not my expectation. This is one of those sequences where you can gain some separation because you can cut the checkpoint instead of breaking. But obviously we have the separation we need. We just need to bring it home right now. I think we are looking at the 18 minute range for this, which is funnily a lot longer than the other championship was. Although this one is just one race. But in the other championship, we had like two minute races. Yes, it was three of them, but it still only takes you to like six to seven minutes. More like seven because it's two something. And when you have some loading time, and then you end up at like, I don't know, ten minutes, whatever. In total. With the end screen and start of the next race. Fast traveling to the next race, you know, probably takes us to like 10 minutes in total, but... The good thing about this one is... Yes, it's longer, but it's actually race. The relation from waiting to racing is a lot better in the favor of racing. So 5% done. Not sure we had to break there, but I didn't want to risk it. Especially because I'm not very experienced with this car. So.
Oops. That was a little bit unnecessary to get that wrecking ball skill there. Just a little late on the turning point and um, You could tell with that corner what we what the driving approach is right now because we were braking early and accelerating late. So just going safely through there, making sure everything goes well. This one can be taken for further. Whoops. Lost a little bit of balance there due to that up and down bit. Or tap on the brake. With that one corner. With this one, it was a little bit of a longer tap. 84. Seem to be 85 percent. Oh. There we are with 85. Six. Slowly ticking up. 15 minutes gone. Seven. Yeah, it's slowly ticking up. I don't know, but I, my expectation would be around 18 minutes. So not that much longer. I'm fairly well for it right now. It can be taken full throttle, but not in a way that lends itself to taking the next corner, so we shouldn't have done that. Doesn't matter. We're so far ahead that it really doesn't matter. We are just caching clean racing skill after clean racing skill. That's one after the other of ultimate racing skills. Which, again, I have said the last time, I will tell you when I read it in the loading screen, we are a good bit above 10,000. Because I was talking about how the, the ultimate skills are just piling up. And it's just a number these days. It's not like something that matters. But yeah, we are a good bit over 10,000. That's what I kept in mind. I don't know how much. Last time I said we are probably above 4k. Well, yes, we are. Two and a half times as much. <laughs> so my estimate wasn't that precise. Hey, we might actually do it in the 17 something. 97%. And now crossing the 17. Yeah, we, we could probably go to 18 minutes. But it's fine. Actually, we won't. That's right, we're 17 something. We won't reach the 18 minutes. But it was still a reasonable estimate. Slamming the wall one last time, we're right one of the finish line. <laughs> it's a little bit unnecessary. Oh well. So, that was a one race championship. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And until next time, farewell.